According to Muslims, the Bible contradicts itself many times over, and that the Quran has no contradictions whatsoever. However, this is not true. The Quran actually has many verses that contradict each other uh, that are exact opposite. However, the Muslims have a doctrine called the doctrine of abrogation. What this means is that one verse can abrogate another. Uh, that means that a later verse could abrogate or remove or cancel out an earlier verse. Now what gets really interesting about this is that the Muslims themselves debate about which verses have been abrogated. Uh, throughout the history of Islam, uh, there's any number of verses that have been considered abrogated and by others as not abrogated. What this really means, though, is that, you know, how do you know which verses, you know, are, you know, count or which ones don't? This gets even worse because there's both the Quran and the Sunnah. And depending on which Muslim you're talking to, the Quran can only abrogate the Quran, or the Quran could abrogate the Sunnah, or the Sunnah could abrogate the Quran, or the Sunnah could abrogate the Sunnah, or whichever order you can come up with. On top of all of this, when you go to a Muslim and you quote him a verse from the Quran, he'll just point you to an earlier verse uh, that's been abrogated and act as though it has not been abrogated. For example, the Quran says to both have Christians as your friends and Christians as your enemies. Uh, which is it? Well, the older verses here are the ones that say to have Christians as your enemies. So those cancel out or abrogate the ones that say to have as your friends. However, when you bring up the subject, which ones are quoted to you by a Muslim? The ones that say to have Christians as your friends. Surah 9.5 potentially cancels out or abrogates over 127 verses in the Quran. So what does this all mean? This means the Quran has a big, huge question mark on it. And it's completely unreliable. You have no idea what you're supposed to believe, what's been canceled out, and what has not been.